hope everyone's doing really well this afternoon. I'm Gerald Wilson. And I'm Magnus Anderson. And I just wanted to make that clear because people confuse us quite a bit, you know. <laughs> I, we do I have think it must be the hairstyle, you know. <laughs> well, today we're going to talk to you about self-healing coatings, uh, which are the primary products of Autonomic Materials, the company that we represent. So why are we interested in developing self-healing coatings, coatings that can repair themselves? Well, the reason is that traditional coatings, even when they're designed to be anti-corrosion or corrosion resistant, have one fundamental limitation which Magnus is going to explain. Traditional coatings are used to protect metal from corrosion. The problem is that once the, the coating is damaged, the protection is gone and the metal will corrode. And as moisture penetrates under the coating, the rust will spread even further. I'm sure this is a problem you can all relate to. Now, oh, come on, I saw some of your cars outside, so. <laughs> but we're here today to talk about our self-healing technology and what we can do to address this problem. OK, so now imagine the same coating that Magnus just described. But this time, uh, we've incorporated AMI's proprietary self-healing microcapsules. OK, so when damage occurs to this coating, It'll rupture the microcapsules, causing the healing agents that are encapsulated inside of them to be released to the site of damage, where it then solidifies and then restores uh, the protective function of the coating. So this is a nice schematic, but how does this work in, act in an actual coating in reality? Well, here we're looking at a traditional coating, an anti-corrosive coating, after typical industrial corrosion testing. And obviously, the result is just, just not that impressive. <laughs> Clearly, moisture has penetrated the damage, and in, in, in addition to all the rust, you see blistering in and around the damage. Here's the exact same coating, now with our self-healing additive. Since the coating is self-healing, the barrier properties have been restored to the site of damage, and the metal is protected. There's no sign of rust, no sign of blistering, and actually, even if you look close, it's hard to tell that the coating has been damaged at all. So from this comparison, it's obvious that by adding our self-healing technology to coatings, you will improve the protection of the metal, and you will extend the lifetime of the coating. Now, Gerald, can you tell us more about the specific effects of this lifetime ex extension? Sure, sure. So we, we've, seen, we've seen the contrast, OK, what happens with and without self-healing. So how does that performance extend over time? Now, imagine if you have two versions of the same coating, uh, one a traditional coating and one with AMI self-healing technology. Both will start off with the same corrosion resistance in the beginning, offering the same level of protection until damage occurs. Okay? When damage occurs, the traditional coating will continue to fail at a much faster rate because moisture and other elements in the atmosphere have penetrated down to the substrate, down to the metal, and started corroding underneath the coating. At that point, the coating no longer provides a protective function and has to be repaired or replaced. In the case of the self-healing coating, there is a small decline in the beginning because you, know, you don't have as much of the thickness of the same layer. But healing is now occurring, which effectively arrests the damage mechanism and prevents it from propagating any further, thus extending the lifetime of the coating. So let's talk about some potential applications. Now, what do all these have in common? These are all really expensive assets, OK, that all require significant amounts of coating, expensive labor to maintain, and costly downtime. These are the target applications for our technology. And here's why the self-healing technology is making such a great impact in the paint and coatings industry. First of all, economics. Corrosion is a $300 billion a year problem. That's right, $300 billion a year. That, that's a lot of money. Well, Russ never sleeps. <laughs> Russ never sleeps. I like that. Depending on your musical taste, you might get that reference. Now, technology. The technology is a great fit, okay? Most damage 
in most coatings begins really small and then propagates to become something much more significant that requires um, a lot of time, effort, and economics to repair. So our technology essentially just fills in the gap and then arrests the damage mechanism, prevents it from propagating further, extending the lifetime of the coating. So the technology is a great fit. Innovation. Here we're talking about bringing a disruptive technology to an industry where the fundamental principles of design have remained the same for 400,000 years. 400,000 years. I'm pretty sure you're going to get in trouble for that one. Hey, what can I say? It's like, it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> All right, sustainability. Now, this is a word that we've all become very familiar with, you know, especially in the last few years. But we believe our technology really backs this up. Because you know, think about um, extending the lifetime of a coating on some major asset significantly. Most performance-based coatings are solvent-based. So what this means is that you know, every time you coat um, a significant uh, asset, you're essentially releasing volatile organic material into the atmosphere. So if we can extend the lifetime of these coatings, we're decreasing, uh, or increasing, I guess, the, decreasing, sorry, the number of maintenance cycles, um, and limiting the, the amount of VOCs that are released into the atmosphere. And then thinking about the raw materials that go into these coatings and the significant amount of energy that goes into preparing them. Very sustainable technology. So economics, technology, innovation, and sustainability continue to form the cornerstones that continue to inspire us to make uh, smarter coatings a reality in the paints and coatings industry. So thank you so very much for your time.